For one of Britain's biggest blue chip companies, this has been a tough two years, hit by financial scandal and the falling value of the pound. On Tuesday, Rolls-Royce reporting a pre-tax loss of $5.8 billion. Much of the engine maker's money comes in dollars, while its costs are in pounds sterling. It has had to write down the value of its long-term currency trades to reflect sterling's slump after the UK's vote to leave the European Union. While that may be an accounting measure, Rolls-Royce has also been forced to pay $836 million in fines. They come from the settlement of a long-running bribery investigation. Rolls-Royce's share price has been largely unaffected by this announcement. The company's underlying performance is actually slightly better than many analysts were expecting. Looking ahead, the company is trying to become more efficient, losing management jobs, hoping to save $250 million by the end of the year. In a statement, Rolls-Royce's chief executive said, despite the significant market and aerospace product transition challenges identified in 2015, we have made operational progress and performed ahead of our expectations for the year as a whole. Rolls-Royce has been hit by slowing demand for its engines, including those powering the Airbus A380. Analysts say it must now position itself for the next big innovation in flying. It's got to build on what it has, and that's a fantastic reputation. Rolls-Royce is, is the brand name. You have now to develop an engine or two that capture that innovative, outstanding capability. But after this bribe, it's not good enough just to be as good as You've got to be better than the opposition. The new management team at Rolls-Royce are now promising to focus on the company's long-term goals. They'll be hoping that with this record loss, the worst is over. Duncan Golastani, Al Jazeera, London.